Thermodynamic properties are of two basic types, extensive and intensive. The value of an extensive thermodynamic property depends on the size of the thermodynamic system, while the value of an intensive property is independent of the size of the system. A good way to determine if a property is extensive or intensive is to think about what happens to that property when we add a boundary that divides a system into smaller subsystems. In this example, we've divided system 1 into subsystems 1a and 1b, which are of equal size. The volume, mass, and mole number of each of the subsystems is half of its value in the original system. In other words, volume, mass, and mole number all depend on the size of the system and are therefore extensive properties. In general, the value of an extensive property in subsystem 1a or 1b will be half its value in system 1. What about temperature? Well, based on everyday experience, we don't expect the addition of a barrier to change the temperature. Therefore, temperature is an intensive variable since the temperature in each of the subsystems will be the same as the temperature in system 1. Intensive properties can be measured at any point within a system without knowledge of the system as a whole. For example, temperature could be measured by inserting a thermometer anywhere within the system. There's no equivalent procedure that you could use to measure extensive properties such as mole number, mass, or volume. Concentration is another intensive property. We can prove this by remembering that the concentration is the mole number divided by the volume. So the concentration in subsystem 1a equals the mole number in subsystem 1a divided by the volume of subsystem 1a. Since volume and mole number are extensive properties, we can substitute one half the mole number in system 1 for the mole number in subsystem 1a, and one-half the volume in system 1 for the volume in subsystem 1a. The one-halves cancel out, leaving us with mole number of system 1 over volume of system 1, which is just the concentration of system 1. So we've proved that adding the boundary doesn't change the concentration, and therefore we've proved that concentration is an intensive property. In general, the ratio of any two extensive properties will be an intensive property. Additional common examples of this include density, which is equal to the mass divided by the volume, and molar mass, which is equal to the mass divided by the mole number.